to my free audio I've produced for you on motivation. How many times have you heard this word and said this word when you're feeling really positive and up for giving it a real good go and getting results? Well, when I looked in the English dictionary, this is what it had to say about the word motivation. Motivation is a reason or inspiration for a course of action to someone or to inspire and encourage someone to do something. A good coach motivates his clients. This is something I certainly agree with. To stay in a motivated state, you have to be seeing and getting results. Let me carry on and give you an example of what I'm talking about. A good result, which will encourage motivation, and a bad result, which will kind of make you get demotivated and may make you drop out. As an example, Mary has been given a nutritional plan, an exercise plan, and a lifestyle plan to follow by her personal trainer. As her goal is to lose 14 pounds, that's one stone in eight weeks. After getting tested by this trainer, it has been agreed that this target can be achieved in that period of time. So Mary has to work through the process of achieving this. So what that is, is basically her going to the gym, um, eating the right type of foods, what she's been told to eat, getting the right type of rest, and following a basically a healthy lifestyle. Okay, this is something what she wants to do for eight weeks. However, after the fourth week, Mira has been called in by her trainer to get retested again to see basically what is actually going on. Um, if Mira is doing the right thing to go get her towards a goal. Right, so she's retested. She's lost eight pounds of scale weight. Uh, she's lost 2% body fat and is feeling a lot more energized. And as a result, has noticed her clothes are feeling very loose and fitting her body very nicely. That's Mary's story. And now let me tell you about John. John is not particularly bothered about how much weight he loses. Says, However, John wants to increase his lean muscle tissue by 8 pounds and lose 8 pounds of fat mass. Uh, something what he believes um, can be achieved. Okay. And also increase his muscle strength. Okay. So again, John has hired the services of a strength and conditioning coach who has devised a plan for him which includes his weight room workouts, his nutritional workouts plans and sorry his nutritional food plans, his supplement stacks and again a lifestyle plan okay which will help him get towards his goal. Obviously the process again is for John to go to the gym, lift certain weights and um, heat certain foods based around his protein intake, his carb intake, fat intake and um, his vitamins and minerals. Okay again John is calling to get retested to reveal he has put on one pound of lean muscle tissue and has lost only one pound of fat mass. He is very disappointed and is considering quitting what he has set out to do and to be honest, I would be too. Okay, he's very disappointed, very demotivated now, as after four weeks of an eight-week plan, which is strength and conditioning coach said yes is achievable. He is not even halfway towards his goal, so he's demotivated. Right, in order to be in a motivated state, the goal must be challenging to the point that it's something what is within your grasp. Remember when you're planning this with your trainer? You have to make sure that it is achievable. The other 50% has to make sure that it is challenging. It's keeping you going. Okay, it's not unrealistic. Okay, so it's got to be a 50-50 thing where it's achievable, but at the same time, it's something what's hard. So it's challenging you at the same time. Okay, this will make it very realistic and achievable for you to get this goal. All right. So when you're obviously asking your clients, okay, or if it's you what's looking at getting a result, make sure that these things are achievable. 
okay so some of the things what I've heard in the past is this I wanted to run as fast as you same bolt okay of which I said to the customer um, you know you may have the genetics to do this however it's been probably more than 10,000 hours of training what Usain Bolt has had to put in to get towards that stage or you got to be blessed with some awesome genetics to enable you to achieve this I've also had somebody come up to me wanting to lose two stone in two weeks again this was something what I know I couldn't do um, so I've made the customer know that it's a unrealistic target or it's beyond what I know okay um, the person did not have a lot of excess amount of fat to lose however you know it was something what I know would make them feel ill if we was trying to go for it it wouldn't make them healthy at all right so summary set realistic targets and goals if you set them make sure what you want to achieve is on a 50-50 state so yeah 50% of it is achievable the other 50 has got to be challenging reinforce yourself into a habit uh, when things change yes sometimes we have to make changes to do with family work um, you know there can be sometimes bad news death in the family stuff like that what makes us stop from training however try and reinforce yourself back into this okay um, and then obviously get back on track okay do something that you like that um, will keep you going however some people don't like to go to gyms which is fine you know take up a sport cycling um, badminton squash okay swimming it doesn't necessarily have to be based around the gym okay so again do something you like and you'll find that you'll do it without even realizing you're doing it and then you'll make sure that you're also enjoying it at the same time okay so those are my things what I want you to take in and that was my take on motivation right so also I will have some other audios coming up okay if there's anything what you want me to talk about on an audio feel free to send me an email at martin at cptuk.co.uk thanks for listening bye for now